Left field, Texas, baby. On any given game day, midweek or weekend, beyond the left field wall of this fuck field is a community or a dot on the National College Baseball map. From mocking a certain rival from College Station song after a big win to simply enjoying these special moments, the Occupy Left Field family is special. I look forward to coming out here every single home game. From parents of the current Longhorns. Here we go, hook them, brother. Yes, sir. <laughs> and Longhorn greats from the past to CDC and UT Athletics Director. It's a who's who at Occupy Left Field. <laughs> It's become a tradition and a space for legendary memories, just like these three have provided legendary memories. 27 College World Series trips combined and four national championships. <laughs> Occupy Left Field has been known to be the desired location to celebrate championships for all involved, including the Longhorns. <laughs> it's a family which shares a passion for Texas baseball, as seen in this Occupy left field collage of memories, a lot of memories, and lifelong friendships. Case in point, when Occupy left field founder Mark Pena lost his beautiful mother after a long battle with cancer, this group was there to honor her, along with UT Athletics. A tree was planted in this space to honor Pena's mother. You know, that, that was a really cool thing when, when UT reached out and, and helped us with that. So it meant a lot. I do believe we, we are going to be able to put a plaque on, on the tree as it, as it gets a little bit bigger. Uh, and then, you know, we have big plans for left field now. Obviously, we've been handcuffed a little bit the last couple of years with, with COVID and all of that stuff. But we feel like we have the opportunity this year to really expand it again, get more people out here, uh, you know, work with more sponsors, uh, you know, just make it more fun. And, and we really want this team to get an appropriate level of support behind them this year, and, and we want this to be the, the the cool place to be this spring here in Austin. Support for the nation's top-ranked team in all preseason polls after coming close to winning it all in Omaha last season. I think be coming off of the momentum from the team last year, I honestly think Mark's probably gotten more hype, more tweets, more DMs, more anything this year than any other year. Which leads to this question. Is Occupy Left Field in preseason number one form, just like the Longhorns? We, we, have, we have a saying out here, man. We, we stay ready, so we never have to get ready. So <laughs> we're, uh, we're ready for the year. We're really excited, man. I'm not 100%, but I'd say I'm about 80 right now. No fear, Jordan. First pitch of the season isn't until next Friday. Which means there's plenty of time to get back into the routine, including a fireball tradition. Oh my God! After the national anthem, we always have to do the uh, the, the the shots. It's uh, it's the shots, <laughs> and whoever's the starting pitcher, their dad does the. Uh, they, he has to be the person that does the shots and and makes the call, so we can do shots before the uh, before the game. I mean, you have to do a shot and then fire the cannon, though. What makes Texas number one in many ways is the simple fact there is a top-notch development related to Occupy Left Field. It's the Occupy Left Field Foundation. It's all part of the growing trend in college athletics, namely the name, image, and likeness. It's a new world now. A new world in collegiate athletics, NIL. The Occupy Left Field Foundation, which is comprised of former Longhorns, local businesses, and local nonprofits. An ideal partnership which creates opportunities for UT baseball players monetarily and to establish relationships in the community. You know, there's there's multi, mul multiple reasons why we're, we're getting involved with the foundation here. Uh, obviously, we, we want the players to be in the community as well. We feel like that is an organic way to, to really grow uh, enthusiasm around the program. We want them in local charities, helping our community get better. Pena added that anyone who is interested in donating, log on to OccupyLeftField.org and create a long-term automated monthly donation. <laughs> First pitch of the 2022 season is Friday at Dishfalk Field against Rice. <laughs>